Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is day one, day one, day one of Vlogmas, which is what creators call in the YouTube world during Christmas month, December. So we basically upload every single day and I'm going to try to do it. I say try, don't hold me to it. I'm working really hard on it, but it's a lot of work to have 31 videos up in December. And so I'm doing a lot of pre-filming and I am gonna try my absolute best because I think it would be a lot of fun. If you're interested in sticking with me for the next 31 days, make sure and subscribe. Definitely like this video. It helps my channel quite a bit. Let's go ahead and get into the best holiday lipsticks of 2022. Today I thought that it would be a really fun way to kick off Vlogmas by showing you my top top holiday lipsticks that I like to wear during this time of the year. Um, there's probably going to be a lot of reds in the video but there's also other colors that you wouldn't think of and so I wanted to share those with you today. So let's go ahead and jump into it. If you're new, welcome. My name is Yadi. I like to talk about all things makeup, it luxury makeup, indie makeup, drugstore makeup, all makeup is makeup that I love. We like to do a lot of get readies with me and new makeup releases and just build a community here. That's what it's about and it's a lot of fun. Make sure and subscribe if you haven't because day one, day one of Vlogmas, I am going to try to upload 31 videos this month. It's a lot of work but I think it would be a really fun way to just go out this year really strong. I had a little bit of a pause in the last year due to some medical issues with my family, so I'm happy to be back, but I thought that would it would be fun to do this. So in the YouTube world, they call it Vlogmas. That means we upload every single day. I also like to do collabs during the month of December, and so to kick us off, I wanted to do a collab with a girl that I absolutely love here on YouTube. Her name's Smiley Shaney, and we just instantly connected, maybe on somebody's live or something. I don't know how we found each other, but there's a couple of reasons why. One, she's my Cali connection. She's my Cali sister. She's from California, around the same area where I grew up as well. And two, she's just funny as hell. Like, she just says it like it is. She does it in a really nice, fun, kind way, but you watch her videos and if you get her sense of humor, you're like laughing your ass off at like 6 a.m. when she uploads her videos. So I thought it would be really fun to kick off a Vlogmas with a collab with her. After this video, go watch her video. Go check out what her top picks are for holiday lipsticks. She's also deeper complected than I am, so that's gonna give you a nice wide range of what colors will work on your skin tone and what may not. So I think that's also a good thing. I will link her channel down below. I will also link my socials to Instagram and TikTok where we have a lot of fun. Go follow me there. And all the products that I'm using will also be linked down below if they're still available. Those are affiliate links. If you use them, free to use. But I do make a small commission and that's how we support my channel. So thank you. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, guys, during the holidays, I like to oomph it up with my lips. And there's some certain reds that I have found work really, really well for my skin tone. I'm medium complected, sometimes light medium, depending on what range you're looking at for foundations. During the video, if you think we might be a shade twin or you think it might be a little lighter, a little darker, whatever the case, in the description box, there's a whole list of popular foundations and my shade in them, just to give you a good sense of what the lip colors might look like on you, so check that out. Also, leave me a couple of your go-to holiday colors, colors or shades or formulas, whatever. Leave those down below because I'm always looking for good recommendations. I mean, I can't try everything, and I love looking at recommendations in my comment section because it, you know, it gives me ideas of what brands to try next. Okay, so let's go ahead and just start with what I'm wearing right now. And if you're wondering about this overall makeup look, I actually did film this. This is coming up. If not tomorrow, then very soon after tomorrow. Um, this is my holiday look for 2022, and I thought it was so pretty. It's got like a green undertone to it. It sparkles, it shimmers, it's just beautiful. So normally during the year, when I do colorful eye looks, which I love colorful eyeshadow, I always kind of stick with a nude lipstick. And you know, I just feel like that brings a little bit of a better balance, but during the holidays, I like to do red. I think that red looks really good on my skin tone. It took me a really long time to be comfortable with that. And this red that I'm wearing with this look today is actually Prop of Beauty. Yeah, remember them? We don't hear people talk about them very much this year, but this is Prop of Beauty. This is when they released the uh, second set of shades that were all the reds and the berries. And this is in the shade Dream It. 
I do believe that these lipsticks retail for $12, but I'll have all the info on the bottom of the screen. And this is a very nice, shiny satin formula. It's one of those glossy looking old school lipsticks, but the formula is so beautiful. It's so soft. And if you kiss somebody, if you eat, whatever, it will transfer. It's not transfer proof. However, what I find is like if I do my makeup and then I put on the lipstick and go about my day, if I've already had breakfast and coffee and everything else and I put it on and don't touch it, it actually stays for a few hours. I will have to reapply at lunch, but it doesn't bleed in any weird way like some of these more moisturizing formulas will. Um, it stays put where it's at. I do like the bullet because it does also help you go in without having to line it. I always line it just because I feel like I don't have a good definition of my lips, but I love, love, love this shade. This is what the swatch looks like. Such a great formula, $12, I believe, $12 to $15. But Propa Beauty does have a lot of really good sales sometimes where you can get 10, 20, up to 30% off. I've seen them before and they are black owned and I just think that they are absolutely gorgeous. And this is one of my top holiday picks. Here we go. The next holiday shade is this very bright, slight orangey red. This is what I call my 1980 red. When I think back about the lipsticks my mom would wear, this is kind of one of them. It's bright, it's red, but it's got that slight orangey, fiery orangey shade there. This is Unearthly Cosmetics in the shade Minerva. Now, I did swatch all of these newer shades last year, and I'll link that video, but they have since extended their line, and they've got other really gorgeous reds. I didn't include them because I just included it in the holiday video for Unearthly Cosmetics, but this shade specifically, if you like a bright red and you've got, you want a little bit of a pop of something. I mean, I see like a neon orange coming through on this. This is a gorgeous color. This liquid matte formula was one of the best of beauty for 2021 for me because it is wonderful. It's matte, but it's so comfortable. It will literally last seven, eight hours, you guys. It will wear off, but it will wear off slowly towards the end in a very like natural way where it almost stains the lips as it's wearing off. But this one I love because it just, again, you can go with a really beautiful like wash of champagne eyeshadow, you know, very minimal blush and makeup and then pop this on the lips and oh my gosh, you, you will look very, very festive, very nice. Let me swatch this for you. This lipstick retails for $15 and I'm telling you, I'm telling you, some of her lip products sometimes remind me of like Pat McGrath formulas, just saying, but it's so inexpensive. It's a really great indie brand and they perform so, so nicely. So I definitely wanted to make sure to include Unearthly Cosmetics in the shade Minerva. Real quick, I went back because I had a thought. I wanted to swatch them next to each other because sometimes it does help to reference like with other reds that you're looking at. So that's what we've got so far, Prapa Beauty and Dream It, and then we've got Unearthly Cosmetics and Minerva. Okay, although most colors will be red because that's what I think of when I think of holiday, I wanted to switch it up a little bit because another one that I like for the holidays that is perfect for somebody that's looking for something rich and bold, but maybe not red, is gonna be this one. This is the Too Faced Melted Matte. This is the Liquefied Matte Long Wear Lipstick, and it's in the shade Gingerbread Girl. Mmm, I love it, love it, love it. It's the most beautiful matte formula. Honestly, this is the only um, matte that I have from Too Faced, and I love it so much, so I don't know why I haven't bought any more. This year or last year, they released another kind of spicy terracotta shade to go with their um, palette release, the holiday palette release that they have every year. But this one's a couple years ago, and... This is actually my second one that I've purchased. Before I got into makeup, I had this one, and so I had used it all up, and I loved it that I bought it again. And if it's still available, I'll link it, but look at how pretty that is. It gives you a little bit of a, like a red or bold lip, but it doesn't, it's not really red. It's more of a terracotta slash brownie red, and I really like it. 
Um, it does get matte right away, but it'll stay comfortable for a really long time and it will not budge, you guys, not budge. Here's a swatch for comparison there. Really, really nice formula. All right, talk about the most beautiful, perfect blue tone red. This is it right here. So this one's gonna be the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink. This is in the shade 20 Pioneer. And you guys, when I tell you it is the most perfect red. Now, it looks blue tone red when I'm applying it. It looks blue tone red in person but the camera is washing it out a little bit and making it look a little brighter than what it is. So I wanted to point that out because again, when you're looking at it for shade reference from what my foundation color is, it is gonna look a little bit deeper in person and more blue tone red than it does here on camera. You know, teeth check. That's how you can tell if it's a blue tone red, you look at your teeth and if it's really, really makes your teeth white, that's what you get. So that's what the swatch looks like there compared to the other shades that we've been showing you. Looks very, very close to the first one from Prop of Beauty, but it's got that blue undertone there, if you can see it. And it is just gorgeous. Now this one, careful. I have to run and take this off very quickly because it will stay for 16 hours plus. Not joking. You're gonna have to scrape it off your lips. Perfect for holiday parties. It does kind of break down a little bit with greasy food, but it will stay and it will leave a little stain, which you can just top with gloss afterwards. So very, very nice red. Oh crap, I waited too long. Look, I can't get it off. I'm like trying so hard. Oh crap. Oh. <laughs> This thing is stuck. I'll be back. Okay, this is another beautiful, beautiful combo. When I tell you that there's a perfect red and I showed it to you with the Maybelline uh, Matte Ink, this is like the bougie counterpart to it. But this is actually a combo. So this is Pat McGrath and I have the liner in Blood Lust. And then the lipstick is in Elson 3. Uh, and this is in the Matte Trans Formula. Now, I'm gonna tell you, uh, Pat McGrath's Matte Trans Formula is one of my favorite because it's so comfortable. You actually put it on your lips and it feels so moisturizing. You don't realize that you're putting on a matte lipstick. It's got a little bit of sheen to it that doesn't really quite dry down. It stays really nice and comfortable. It's not transfer proof or anything like that, but it does stay put for a really long time. If I don't do anything except drink water and leave it alone, you can honestly get five or six hours out of it. I mean, I, that's what I've noticed. One thing I will say about the lipstick, I'm glad that they sold it in a duo because this is one lipstick that for whatever reason, the way that the bullet's shaped, I can't get a perfect line and get away with using it just on its own like I can the Prop of Beauty. Um, with Prop of Beauty, I, at the beginning of the video, I had lined my lips. I'll show you with what in a second, but um, I don't always line my lips with the Prop of Beauty lipsticks. I've got like 10 of them sitting over there and they are really good on their own. This one, I have to have a liner, but these liners with Pat McGrath, these are almost the same formula as the eyeliners that we use from her. They're budge proof, like they won't go anywhere. The lipstick's not budge proof, this one is. And so I like the way that the combination comes together. And it's that, again, it's looking a little brighter on camera, but I'll tell you it's a perfect, perfect red. Classic, classic red is what I would call this. Beautiful, beautiful. Here's what it swatches like. As you can see, the liner and the lipstick, exact colors. Different shade names, but exact colors. The liner again is in Bloodlust. The lipstick is in Elson 3. Silly, silly rabbits. Did you really think that I was gonna talk about holiday lipsticks without including Lisa Eldridge? Absolutely not. And so one of the most perfect holiday colors, in my opinion, is going to be a Velvet Cinnabar. And this is what it looks like here. Now we have the liner and the lipstick that go together. I love that she does that. I love that she always makes the corresponding lip liner because it's a beautiful formula. But before she released lip liners, I would always line my lips with some type of nude lip liner of some sort. 
so that the color wouldn't bleed out and then I'd go in with the lipstick. But now that we have corresponding lip liners, I love this. I absolutely love this. It's a nice terracotta color. It's so gorgeous. That's what it looks like in the, in the bullet there. Uh, you know that the velvet formula is one of my absolute favorites. I think that it's one of the best lipstick formulas out there. And her lip liners as well, very creamy, but they just stay put. So that's it on the end there. Look how pretty that is. So rich, terracotta, hot cocoa. I don't, it's the perfect, perfect color. I love this so much. The velvet formula. It's like a moussey formula. It is matte. My only critique of this formula is that as it's wearing off, it kind of wears off upwards and then you do have to take the entire lip off and reapply so that it looks fresh again. There's some formulas like, I would say like the Maybelline or the Too Faced Melted Matte, where if it's wearing off, you can actually go on over this formula and reapply and it looks fresh again. With Lisa Eldridge, you have to take it off, start over, but it'll last quite a while quite a while. Look at how perfect that is. And it gives me just the right amount of reds, just the right amount of earthy tones. And I just think it's perfect for the holiday season. And the last holiday lip color that I like to wear or that I would suggest, I would say black. Okay. Now, not just any black, but a very matte black. And the reason that I like to do that is because I like to top it with a shimmer or glitter. And I just have just a random loose glitter here. And um, you can do it either way. So what I like to start off with, first of all, I let the black just sit and dry. Let it dry completely. Then I go in with any shimmery gloss, any gloss at all that you have in your collection. I'm going to use the Nomad Cosmetics. This is the Fit de Provence. And um, this is in the shade Lavande, Lavender. Okay, so it's a nice purple shade and I let it dry and then I go in with this shimmery lip gloss and I place it just in the middle now it's already transforming the black right you see that it's already transforming the black but then I like to take the top of any shimmer loose shimmer whatever and I take just a tiny little bit I mean, look at this loose shimmer, by the way. Check it out. It's like crushed diamonds. And there it is. Now, people wouldn't think of black lipstick as one that would be for holiday. But for me, I just think it's fun. And like a lot of people like the very bold eye looks and the black lipstick. I honestly think that black is so chic. And it just gives like something fun, you know, especially if you're going to like a holiday party or a New Year's Eve party, you want something a little bit different, I think this is so cool. Now, it has to be the right matte black. And why I say that is because, let me, I just pulled out the lip gloss wand that I used. Do you see that? There is no black on the wand. And when you're applying gloss to then secure some shimmer onto the lips, you don't want it to budge or go anywhere. And the perfect matte lipstick for that, especially in the shade black, is going to be the Sephora collection. It doesn't go anywhere. You just let it dry for quite a while. You know, I would say like one to three minutes. Make sure it's really dry and set in there. And then you go in with the gloss and the shimmer. And I just think it's a perfect, perfect, perfect. What do you think? Is this crazy? I don't think so. I feel like Rihanna, you know, a few, two, three years ago, maybe a little longer, she released her matte lipsticks and one of the shades that stays sold out even after all this time is always gonna be the matte black one that she has because it's an incredible formula also. And um, I just think that people, it's classy, especially if you do like a very basic eye and you just focus on the lips. I think it's so classy and so pretty. I will swatch here, but as you saw in the demo, I swatched onto the lips and um, that's another thing about this. This is like instantly pigmented, instantly pays off immediately because with really dark shades, you want to make sure that it doesn't get streaky or anything like that. And this one definitely does not. So 
I love this. I think it's great for holiday. I am I think it's different than what most people think about for holiday, but that's why I like it so much because there's a little bit for everybody. I didn't include nude lips because I upload a lot of pictures on Instagram and I'm always wearing a nude lip. So if you want to go check out what nude lip combos you like, you can go check out my Instagram and Usually in the description box, I'll list what I'm wearing. But yeah, this is what I wanted to finish off the video with. I think that this is a perfect holiday lip. I think that it looks really nice and classy. And actually all the shades here, we did see a lot of red, but that's kind of what people think of for holiday. They want that classic red lip to go with their holiday dress. And so I hope that I provided some really good options for you. The last little thing that I will say, because I'm really loving this gloss, it's the Fenty Beauty Heat. This is in the is it cherry yeah hot cherry 01 but it's got a little bit of a plumping action so i really love this one too from a lip gloss perspective but i wanted to stick to lips so let me know what your thoughts are let me know what are your go-to holiday lips i think that these are a really really good option for holiday you will go check out shaney she is absolutely the most adorable girl you will love her she's a lot of fun and let her know that i sent you let her know i say hello thanks so much for watching you guys i hope that you have an amazing december i hope that you have a lot of fun this month with all of the uploads that all of the creators are working on and i will see you guys tomorrow bye sam can't take it off ah uh. <laughs> See you tomorrow.